a lot of African students pronounce the words sing as sing, bees as bees, boys as boys, example as example, examination as examination. In this video, I'm going to share with you some secrets of answering questions on consonant sounds. We are going to focus on those sounds that are examiners' favorites, those sounds that examiners like to ask questions on, probably because many African students do mispronounce those sounds. So you're going to consider those consonant sounds that are examiners' best, examiners' favorite, those sounds that examiners like to ask questions on, in WASP, in NECO, in JAMS, in IETS, and so many other English language examinations. And as always, we're going to be answering questions from the past questions. So stay tuned to the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you don't subscribe already. Click on the like button. Share the video to your friends. And also click on the notification bell so that you can get notified each time I upload a new video. And so, so you can see the other videos I already have on this channel. If you're praying for any English language examination, this channel is what you need to do very well in your exam because I have a lot of great contents on this channel that will help you to pass your exams and not just pass your exams, pass them in good grace. So stay tuned to the end of the video. Please share the video to your friends. Click on the like button and subscribe. Now let's dive in. Now let's look at this question from 2020 past questions. 2020 past questions. Question 16. From the words lettered A to D, Choose the word that has the same consonant sound or sounds as the one represented by the letter or letters underlined. We have question 16. Go. Go. Option A, we have badge. B, we have gist. C, we have bringing. And D, we have examine. And the underlined letter in the given word is G. G. The G is pronounced G. So you have to choose the option that has G in it. You have to choose the option that has G in it. So let's look at the options. Option A, we have badge. Badge. Badge does not have the sound G. Though it has letter G, but it doesn't have the sound G. All we have is badge. So it's not the correct answer. Option B. Option B, gist. Gist has the letter G in it. But the G in it is not pronounced G, it's pronounced G. G. So it's not the correct answer. Now, option C, we have bringing. Bringing, this word is pronounced bringing and not bringing. Bringing, not bringing. It has N, N, and not G. G. Do you get So it's not the correct answer. Now, option D. Examine, examine. This is how to pronounce this word. Examine, pronounce it. Examine and not examine. Examine, examine. Though the word does not have G in it, it has G sound. Examine, examine. You can also say examine, examine, but it must have G. Examine or examine. It has G. So you don't say examine. You say examine or examine. Any of those. So it has G in it, which makes it the correct answer. So what we are looking at is the sound and not the letters. The sound and not the letters. Now listen, let me give you an important tip. When you have E S K A, E S K A at the beginning of a word. You should always pronounce the es as ik, ik, examine, examination, example, exactly. Whenever you have exa as the first letters of a word, the es will always be pronounced ik, 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 exemplary, exactly, etc. So you have es at the end of a word. The ex is pronounced ik, ik or ek, ek. Not X, not X. So you don't say examine, you say examine, examine or examine, examine or examine. Do you get now? Let's look at question 17. Mm -hmm. Question 17 we have height, height, option A, house, B, A, C, honest, and D, A. So which is the correct answer? The underlined letter is. So you have to choose the option that has in it. 
So all the options, except option A, has silent H. The word house is pronounced house, house, and not house. H-E-I-R is pronounced E, E to the throne, and not he to the throne. So the H in E is not pronounced, it is silent. The H in honest is not pronounced, it is silent. And the H in R is not pronounced, it is silent. Now let me give some examples of some common words that contain H and the H is meant to be silent. You already know that R, honest and A all have silent H. The H in front of honor is not pronounced. Vehicle, the H in vehicle is not pronounced. So you don't say vehicle, you say vehicle, not vehicle. Vehicle. The H in the word vehement is not pronounced. All the words I mentioned all contain H, but the H is not pronounced in any of them. Now let's answer the next question, question 18. Question 18 is pine. Pine. The underlined letter is p, p, p which is pronounced p, p. We have option A, Sam. B, push. C, empty, and D, film. So which one is the correct answer? Now, Sam has a silent P. Push, the P in push is pronounced P. So is the correct answer. Option C, empty. P in empty is silent. And option D, film. The, the sound in P in phone is not P, but P. So option B, like I said, is the correct answer. Pine, p in pine, p in push. Now, there are no static rules that will get you knowing when P is silent. I'll give you some examples of words that have silent P in them. Now, the word receipt, the P before T is silent. So most times, when you have P T together in a word, the P is usually silent. So the word receipt is not receipt, but receipt, the P is silent. The word call, like call member, you don't say cop member or cops member. The P in call is not pronounced. Cool. C-O-U-P. Cool. The P in cool is also silent, is not pronounced. Another word is psychology. Psychology. The P in psychology, as you know, is not pronounced. Pneumonia. Pneumonia. The P in pneumonia is not pronounced. Cupboard. The P in cupboard is also not pronounced. So these are some examples of words where the P's are not pronounced. Now let's see the next question. Question 19, we have most. Most. Option A is sniffed. B is though. C, think. D, listen. Option A, sniffed, is the correct answer. This word does not contain the letter T, but it has the sound T. It has the sound T. The word is pronounced sniffed and not sniffed. Sniffed and not sniffed. Now, we have the past tense marker ED or D coming after and the passive markers we pronounce as t and not as d because these are voiceless consonants. So the passive markers will be pronounced as t and not as d. For example, you don't say slapped. I slapped her. You say I slapped her. He kicked the bucket and not he kicked the bucket. The word kick ends in k. k. It ends in the sound k. So that's why the ed, the past tense marker, is pronounced t and not d. Kicked and not kicked. Kicked and not kicked. So we have any of these sounds before the past tense marker of a word. Then know that the past tense marker will be pronounced as t and not as d. T and not as d. The other ways of pronouncing the past tense markers and plural markers if you want to watch this video, let me know in the comment section. Though I'll be leaving the link at the description box. It really helped me answer questions, like I said, on rhymes, vowel sounds, and on consonant sounds. Please check out the video. 
the link will be at the description box but in case you do not see it at the description box you can also let me know at the comment section that you want to watch the video on plural market or past tense market now let's move to the next question question 20 we have zoo zoo option a stature b sis c days and d leisure the correct answer is option c days days option a stature the essence stature is pronounced s. option b sis the s in sis is pronounced s. now option d is pronounced days the s in days is pronounced z, z. When the last sound of a word is vowel, you pronounce the plural marker as z, z, and not as s. So we have a vowel sound before the s or es that's added to the word to make it plural. The s or es will be pronounced z, z, and not as s. For example, keys. So that's the ocean. C is the correct answer. Days. Boys. Boys. Not boys. Boys. The word boy ends in oi. Oi is the diphthong. Oi, which is vowel. So that's why the S we pronounce Z. I hope you understand. Like I told you, I have a video on plural markers. So if you want to watch the video, let me know in the comment section. And the link will also be at the description box. Thank you very much for watching and see you in another video. Bye for now.